Okay guys, so I'm back in another video and today we're going to be talking about Fido OS on the Raspberry Pi 4. So you might have seen my last video where I talked about Chrome OS. Well this is a newer version and it actually supports Google Play Store apps. How awesome is that? So I was actually really excited to be able to test this out and test out Android apps and I'm surprised on the performance and stuff like that. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my thoughts about this what I've enjoyed about it and what I did not enjoy so I've installed some software and we'll be testing some of that out in this video but to start out to if you do not know how to install this a great youtuber named Lee PSP video probably the best Raspberry Pi youtuber there is um, well he made this he made an installation tutorial right here on his channel that's actually where I heard about this from so he's an awesome guy he has an awesome channel if you're into the Raspberry Pi and you're not subscribed to him, go there. Definitely, you will find it, his channel amazing. So, first of all, just watch this video and you'll figure out how to install it. It's not that hard, but there are a few tweaks and settings that you do need to know about before doing this. So, he talks all about that in this video. But one thing I do recommend that he does in this video, but I don't think you need to do, is he expands his partition with Gparted. Well, the you can actually use this script that they add in here to do that so to open that script up I actually showed this in my last video too but it works in this build too so it's control alt T you type in shell and and then you just copy this last bit right here this sudo rm mount stateful partition auto expand you just copy that in there paste it in here reboot and you'll have access to all your storage you actually you really do want access to all your storage because if you don't do this You'll only like have three gigs free and you just won't be able to install Google Apps or even the Linux. So yeah, definitely check out this channel if you haven't. He's even just released the Android game test today. So that was a pretty cool video. If you're into gaming and stuff, you might want to check that out. But yeah, so this build, the web browser, everything performs pretty much like the last build. This is just the web app YouTube. But the addition is that there is Google Play, plus you can install Linux apps too. So it actually makes a really good amount of software available for this, that you're able to install Android, Linux, plus web apps, and having have an awesome performing web browser, it just makes it amazing. And I really enjoy that. Like, YouTube performs exactly the same as the last video, so I'm not really going to go into that, but web browsing, everything is good. Chromium is an awesome browser. I really like it. And it works really well in here. So, I mean, just keep it. I mean, web browsing is awesome. It all works really well. So now to talk about the Play Store. So, if you don't know how to install this, you can watch that video like I said. But Play Store launches pretty easily. There is this one bug when you launch every Android app. It like does this little thing. Let me show it once more. But then it gets over it and should launch. You see it does that little graphic. There must be some problem with the graphics, I guess. But yeah, you can install most any app in here that you would want to install. Like YouTube Music, it's only 15 megabytes. So I could just install that real fast. And it just installs it in your system. And it actually creates a place in your file manager that's called Android Apps right here we have i also installed linux so and then we have android files which are like your google play file and stuff like that so that's where everything is but i mean it looks works just like a normal chromebook or a android tablet or yeah and it's nice because other android builds are not meant to be on a desktop but chrome OS, chromium os is built for a desktop so it just functions better with a mouse and a keyboard. That's what I really enjoy about it. Because the Android builds are really great if you have a touch screen. But, I mean, they do work with a mouse and keyboard, but it just doesn't fit. But this is like a nice desktop operating system that looks good, works well. And, yeah. So if we were to want to play a game, like an Android game I installed before, like Among Us. So I was actually really impressed in this Among Us performance that it was running android inside of chrome os and it's fully functional among us like that was just awesome so it can take a bit to launch and then we here we have it we have among us i can go into online find game 
game looks full. Let's just find another one real fast. And here we are. So sadly, I try to move around with my WASD or arrow keys, but it does not work. So maybe if you connected a controller somehow, you could play with a controller, but I don't have one right now. However, you can play it like this. Yeah, I mean, it is usable. You can customize, do everything. I mean, you see there's not much lag going on here, actually. Surprisingly enough, you're just moving around, chilling. And yeah, so the game should start. I don't know why he's not starting it, the host. But yeah, I mean, it's some pretty cool performance. Like you can open up chat right here. It all opens up and you can change settings. You can do everything. It's as good a performance of Among Us as and Constant King's Android 11 build, I would say. So if you want to play Android games like this, Chrome OS might be a good option for you guys. This guy's just not starting it. I don't know. But I mean, you see Among Us ran, so that's about it. And let's test out another, like this, Stickman hook. So these games aren't very heavy games, but Lee PSP Video did test out some other heavier games, and they run okay. But for what I'm going to do with Android on the 11, Chrome OS is looking like a good option for me. I'm not totally sure yet, but I'll explain that at the end of the video. This game can be played with the mouse pretty easily. You just hold down, and you see you... It's supposed to be like on a touch screen, but oops, didn't do that correctly, I guess. Yeah, I mean, so these games, they all play, you can all play them, and they're playable. It's cool how it works, honestly. And now to go over the Linux side, it's so we have our terminal you install it from the settings just like the other build you can type nail fetch and i mean it all works it's just like having linux and android on the same os is just so awesome and cool in my opinion because normally you if you wanted to install android on your raspberry pi you'd have to install constant king's lineage os build and then you have to reboot and go into let's say another linux build like raspberry pi os to get stuff working properly so it just takes a long time this to have it on the same desktop same os is pretty cool so let's and you can actually do a lot of stuff like if i wanted to install i installed visual studio code before so you can even do your coding you can do a lot of essential stuff that you want on your desktop operating system on here using linux so it's a pretty good choice and yeah so visual studio code should be launching ah here we go so i installed the arm 64 dev file from the microsoft website and it works really well you can type i mean you can these aren't code but it works and you have your linux terminal on the bottom here too so it just it all works this is totally functional of being a daily driver in my opinion you can do everything that you would want to do basically you can make it larger and make minimize it all that stuff works i even installed gimp to see how the gimp performance is if you don't know what gimp is it's like linux open source photo editor that is free and it's a nice application to have because it's free it works well and you can get it on most any system they have arm builds arm 64 x86 x64 so it's just a really nice program to be able to use i mean and it, it's working actually in the official release video of this by the fight os team i'll leave a link to that video in the description but he actually shows some more in-depth photo editing and how it does work and then it's just snappy it works and you can go scroll through things and yeah this is actually running a debian 10 virtual machine just like the other build so it's actually virtualizing all these apps it's kind of surprising to see this type of performance while it's being virtualized it's just really impressive and cool to see on the raspberry pi like this so to talk about some linux gaming 
So I installed some classic Linux games like Super Tux 2, Super Tux Cart, and uh, Funny Boat. Well, you see, Funny Boat is a really lightweight game, and it works really well on here because I mean, there's really, there's really not much to this game. You just hit arrow keys to go up and not get bitten by the sharks. So as you expect, it runs totally good on here. No problem with this game. And you just install sudo apt install for your funny boat and it installs. Let's just exit out of this game real fast because there's really not much to it. And then if we wanted, let's say, so Super Tux Cart, I can't get it to work. There's some kind of glitch in it and it wants me to sign into an account and I try to sign in and then it just doesn't work. So that's kind of glitchy. I don't know why. Super Tux 2, man, there's something wrong in there and it's just super duper slow so that is a bit problem so the, it looks like some the apps tend to work but then the games there's a lot of compatibility issues with the games so but some of them do work and yeah so it's kind of a test run you have to see if it's going to install or not to talk about some more android apps like i install netflix because i got a comment asking if netflix netflix works on this bill and i do want to say the Android app of Netflix does not work. You see, it just sits at this black screen the whole time and it doesn't load up. But I was so surprised. This Chromium browser actually has Widevine installed in it. If I went to Netflix.com, you can actually play anything on here without having any problem. So there must be Widevine built into here. I did not think that was the case at all. But I just played something the other day, and it played. I mean, I was so surprised. I'm not going to show anything in this video, but it does work really well. And you should be able to watch any of your DRM content from directly from the Chromium browser. Disney+, Plus, Hulu, Spotify, all those stuff. If the Android apps don't work, like Netflix doesn't work, Spotify also did the same thing. So there has to be some issue with both of those apps. The Android apps on this build, but it's not a huge deal since there was is Widevine built into here. I was actually super happy and surprised to see it in there. So those are just some of my experiences with this build. Oh, I also installed the Discord Android app, and it actually performs really surprisingly well. You could use the web version, but this one is actually really cool and works really well. Like here I am, and it. it it's not built for a desktop operating system, but it it actually works pretty well as a desktop. Uh, Netflix. Uh, when I say Netflix, I mean Discord app. You can switch through the channels, and it's really snappy and fast. Honestly, I I I would recommend using this instead of the web version because it actually feels snappier and much more fast. So this is just one recommendation if you are a Discord user using this build. So it's pretty cool that it works this fast and it's this snappy and then to exit these android apps you kind of just have to hover on the top and you should see your x bar and those are about all the apps that i have installed but it actually comes with this fidos store where you can install some web apps that they have in here already ready for you so it's a kind of useful thing like there's dropbox spotify what else is there there's telegram gmail google drive youtube so there's a lot of pr useful stuff in here that you might want to take a look at so i re recommend taking a look at this fido s web store there's actually a good amount of stuff in there but yeah so to end this video i actually really enjoyed using this build it's super clean works super smoothly and i honestly really like having the ability to have android apps and Linux apps on the same desktop operating system. So if you ask, would I would you use this instead of Lineage 18 for Android apps? For the Android apps, I'm trying to run on my Pi, which aren't very heavy heavy apps. I think this will do the job for me. But if you're someone who wants to try to play some heavier games, Android will probably give you a bit better performance because there is that 3D hardware acceleration in it. But you never know, this might get updates and they might improve that. But 
if you're somebody who's just going to want to play some lightweight Android games, lightweight Android apps, plus you want to be have the ability to install Linux apps and play around with that, plus have an awesome Chromium web browser, I would recommend this operating system. You will just love it, and it should be able to do everything you want to do. You could even join meetings, online calls, Zoom, Google Meet, all that stuff should work well. So I've had a great experience with this. Great job to the devs who have designed this and get it up and running on the Raspberry Pi 4 and Pi 400. So if you like this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.